Top 10 Multiple Launch Rocket Systems The multiple launch rocket systems are designed to engage important area targets behind enemy lines. These targets could be airfields, command centers, support facilities, air defense and artillery batteries, concentrations of troops and so on. So which is the best artillery rocket system in the world? Which is most powerful system of this type and why? This top 10 analysis is based on a combined score of firepower, range, and accuracy. Currently top 10 multiple launch rocket systems in the world are these. Number 10. KN-09. North Korea. In 2014, there were reports from South Korean intelligence that North Korea is testing a new large-caliber artillery rocket system of new type. This artillery rocket system was first publicly revealed in 2015. Some sources refer it as the KN-09, though it is not its actual designation but rather a provisional name. A couple of launcher vehicles were publicly displayed, however current status of this artillery rocket systems or its production numbers are unknown. Its exact specifications are also unconfirmed. So far it is the most powerful multiple launch rocket system developed by North Korea. This country also operates M1985 and M1991 artillery rocket systems that use 240mm rockets, though these two systems are less capable and have shorter range. The new 300mm artillery rocket system is among the most capable systems of its type in the world. This artillery rocket system has a total of 8 launch tubes for 300mm artillery rockets. Most likely that this North Korean system uses Chinese SY-300 artillery rockets. These have a range of up to 130 kilometers. The SY-300 rockets are accurate out to 200 meters using inertial guidance system and out to 50 meters using inertial guidance system with Baidu satellite navigation system update. The rocket can carry high explosive fragmentation HFRAG, cluster rockets with scatterable anti-tank or anti-personnel mines, and even chemical warheads. This North Korean artillery rocket system is based on a Chinese Hao heavy-duty commercial truck with 6x6 configuration. In North Korea this truck was repurposed for military applications. This vehicle has some degree of cross-country mobility. Number 9. KN-25. North Korea. Recently a new heavy artillery rocket system emerged in North Korea. Some sources refer it as KN-25, although this is provisional name. Its actual designation is different. This system uses extremely large guided artillery rockets that are around 500 to 600 millimeters in diameter. So far it is the most powerful multiple launch system ever fielded by North Korea. A number of test launches were made in 2019 and 2020. Actual status of this system is unclear. It is unknown whether it is still being tested or is already in operational service with the North Korean military. This North Korean artillery system uses very large guided artillery rockets. These could be one of the largest artillery rockets of their type ever fielded by any other country. The KN-25 can be even seen as a short-range ballistic missile system. During test launches rockets of this new North Korean system demonstrated a range of 240 kilometers. It is estimated that these rockets have a range of up to 400 kilometers. If these estimates are correct it means that this rocket system covers most territory of South Korea. Rockets use inertial and satellite navigation system for guidance. This new artillery rocket system is based on a modified Tatras chassis. It is clearly seen by a unique Tatras independent suspension. It could be a heavily modified version of the Tatra T815 Kolos military truck. Number 8. A-100. China. The A-100 was a Chinese attempt to create an indigenous long-range artillery rocket system, similar to the Soviet Smirch. In many respects it is similar to the Smirch, the A-100 fires 300mm rockets and is based on a heavy high-mobility truck chassis. However manufacturers insist that it is completely different system. The A-100 was trialed by the Chinese army, however the PHL-03 was selected instead. The A-100 was proposed for export customers. Its improved version has been exported to Pakistan and Tanzania. 
The A-100 artillery rocket system has 10 launch tubes for 300mm artillery rockets, the original Smirch has 12 tubes. The A-100 MLRS has a maximum range of 120 km. An early version of the A-100 launcher vehicle was based on a Tyan TA-580 special wheel chassis with 8x8 configuration. However improved artillery systems exported to Pakistan and Tanzania were based on a newer Tyan Tasmania 4500 special wheel chassis with 8x8 configuration. The AR-1A is an improved version of the A-100 with rearranged rocket tubes. It has two pods with a total of 10 rockets. Number 7. A-200. China. The A-200 is one of the latest Chinese artillery rocket systems. It is a further development of the A-100. The new system has increased range of fire. It is being proposed for export customers. Belarus obtained a number of these rocket systems. However these are based on indigenous 8x8 heavy high mobility chassis and are locally known as the Polonas. These systems were first publicly revealed in Belarus in 2015 and full-scale deliveries were planned to begin in 2016. It seems the Chinese army showed no interest to the A-200, but selected for production a newer and more capable A-300 system. The launcher vehicle carries a total of eight containers with 300 mm rockets. The rockets have a maximum range of 200 km. Rockets have inertial guidance with satellite navigation update. CEP is around 30 meters. So these rockets are very accurate even at maximum range. The A-200 rockets carry warheads that weigh around 100 to 150 kilograms. Three types of warheads are available. The A-200 is a modular system that can also use other pods with different rockets. This system is also capable of carrying and launching two containers with Chinese M-20 short-range ballistic missiles. The M-20 missile has a range of 280 kilometers and can carry a 480 kilograms warhead. This missile is nuclear capable. This artillery system is operated by a crew of three to five men, depending on the vehicle it is based on. It can use Chinese Tian TA-5450, Wanshan WS-2400 or similar 8x8 heavy high-mobility chassis that has a payload capacity of around 20 tons. Number 6. WS-2. China. The WS-2 or Weishar-2, Guardian-2, is another Chinese multiple launch rocket system. It was revealed in 2008. It was aimed at export customers. Some sources report that a number of these artillery rocket systems were exported to Sudan. It is fitted with six launchers for 400mm artillery rockets. This artillery system has got no launching rails. The rockets are fired from containers. Rockets are factory fitted and sealed and can be stored in these containers for years, as these do not require additional maintenance. Once all the rockets are launched these containers are removed and replaced. A standard 400mm rocket has a maximum range of 200 km. It can be equipped with various warheads, including anti-personnel, anti-armor or fuel air explosive. These rockets have a simple inertial guidance system, but can also use Chinese Baidu satellite navigation system for mid-course guidance. There is also a capability to use terminal guidance for further increase of accuracy. At maximum range rockets are accurate to 600 meters. The WS-2 launcher is based on the Tyan Tasmania 5450 high mobility truck chassis with 8x8 configuration. Number 5. AR-1A. China. The AR-1 a multiple launch rocket system was developed from an A-100, which was introduced during the late 1990s, but was not adopted by the Chinese army. The AR-1A artillery rocket system was first demonstrated in 2009. It is a modular system, based on the Russian Smirch technology. The AR-1A is being proposed for export customers. Recently it was reported that Armenia ordered unspecified number of these artillery rocket systems. The AR-1A has rearranged rocket tubes, comparing with its predecessor, the A-100. These are reloaded as two complete box-shaped pods. Each pod contains five launching tubes for 300mm rockets. 
Rockets are factory fitted and sealed inside these pods. Once all the rockets are launched the pods are removed and replaced. Maximum range of fire is up to 130 kilometers. This artillery rocket system is also compatible with pods of the AR-3 system with 370 mm rockets. The launcher vehicle is based on a Wanshan WS2400 special wheel chassis with 8x8 configuration. Number 4. PHL-16. China. In 2019 a new artillery rocket system was first publicly revealed in China. Its official designation is still unknown. Some sources refer it as the PHL-16 or PCH-191. It is a modified version of the previous AR-3 that was offered for export customers. This system is already in service with the China's army. Currently it is one of the most powerful systems in the world its class. The PHL-16 uses 370mm guided rockets. These have a maximum range of 220 kilometers. As far as the system uses pods with missiles, it can be configured to use rockets of different caliber. Some sources report that it is capable of launching tactical ballistic missiles and anti-ship missiles. The previous AR-3 can also carry pods with 300mm rockets, Fire Dragon 480 tactical ballistic missiles and TL-7B anti-ship missiles. Vehicle has an armored cab which provides some degree of protection for the crew from small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. Number 3. Smirch. Soviet Union. The Smirch Tornado was introduced back in the 1980s. At the time it was the most powerful multiple launch rocket system in the world. It is used by a number of countries. After 30 years of service it remains an extremely capable and devastating system. However it becomes increasingly hard to maintain operational Smirch systems due to their age. The Smirch has 12 tubes for 300mm artillery rockets. Originally this multiple launch rocket system had a range of 70 kilometers. Though this range was extended to 90 kilometers on improved Smirch M system. Recently it has been reported that Russia developed further improved 300 millimeters rockets with a maximum range of 120 kilometers. A number of warheads were developed for this system including HFRAG, fuel air explosive, incendiary, cluster with anti-personnel and anti-tank submunitions or self-guided anti-tank munitions. Launcher vehicle of the Smirch is based on a MAZ 543M heavy high mobility chassis with 8x8 configuration. A Smirch unit is typically composed of 6 launcher vehicles and 6 reloading vehicles. The Smirch paved the way for a number of artillery rocket system, including a Russian 9A52-4 Tornado. There is also a 2A52-2T, based on a Tatra 10x10 chassis. It is used by the Indian Army. China adopted a clone of the Smirch, called the PHL-03. Number 2. Uragan 1M. Russia. The Uragan 1M, Hurricane 1M, is a recent Russian artillery rocket system. It was developed to replace both aging Uragan 220mm system that was adopted back in 1975 and Smirch 300mm system that was adopted in 1987. Both of these systems become increasingly hard to maintain and keep in operational service due to their age. The Uragan 1M was first publicly revealed in 2016. It might become operational in the near future. The Uragan 1M is a multi-caliber system. It can carry two pods with various rockets, including pods with 300mm rockets of the Smirch and 220mm rockets of the Uragan. A universal MLRS concept offers advantage of simpler logistics and flexibility. Pods with launch tubes are removed and replaced after all rockets are launched. The pods are faster to reload, easier to store and to maintain. Though there were also developed reusable 300mm launcher packs that can be reloaded with individual rockets by a reloading vehicle in field conditions. 
There are a total of 12 launch tubes for 300 mm rockets. Each of these rockets weights 800 kg and has a 280 kg warhead. A number of warheads are available, including HEFRAG, fuel air explosive, incendiary, cluster with anti-personnel and anti-tank submunitions or self-guided anti-tank munitions. Maximum range of fire is 70 km with ordinary and 90 km with extended range rockets. Some sources report that the Uragan 1M can also use newly developed 300 mm rockets with a maximum range of 120 km. A full salvo of this system covers an area of up to 67 hectares. The Uragan 1M is based on a Belarusian MZKT7930 special wheel chassis with 8x8 configuration. Number 1. PHL-03, China The PHL-03 is a Chinese artillery rocket system. It is a copy of the Soviet Smirch. It reportedly entered service with the Chinese Army in 2004-2005. The PHL-03 is also being proposed for the export customers as the AR-2. It has been exported to Morocco, one battalion with 36 units. The PHL-03 has 12 tubes for 300 mm rockets. A standard rocket weights around 800 kg and has a 280 kg warhead. Maximum range of fire is 70 to 130 km depending on the warhead type. Though some sources report that rockets of this system has a maximum range of 150 km. Rockets are available with high explosive fragmentation, HFRAG, fuel air explosive, and cluster warheads with anti-armor and anti-personnel submunitions. Cluster warheads may also carry self-targeting anti-tank munitions. A full salvo of this system could potentially cover an area of up to 67 hectares. Even though the PHL-03 is a Chinese version of the Smirch, it appears that Chinese overtook Russians in terms of rockets, as rockets of the PHL-03 have longer range than those of the Smirch. Manufacturers claim the Chinese 300mm rockets are not compatible with the Russian Smirch rockets as these use different propellant motors and components. This artillery rocket system has a digital fire control system. The PHL-03 is operated by a crew of four. The PHL-03 is based on a Wanshan WS-2400 special wheel chassis with 8x8 configuration. This military vehicle has good cross-country mobility and can travel off-road. This artillery rocket system paved the way for a number of Chinese versions, including AR-1, AR-1A, and the AR-3, which is currently the most powerful system of this type. Thank you for watching.